Ladies and gentlemen, bine v-am găsit, doamnelor și domnilor, bine ați venit la sala polivalentă din București pentru un show incendiar, RXF 37 MMA All Star. Vă promitem un show incendiar care va cuprinde două părți. Prima parte, Campo Submission Only, iar a doua parte, RXF 37 MMA All Star, care va culmina cu main eventul lupta dintre Varzat Gaderi din Iran și românul Ion Surdu. Ladies and gentlemen, înainte să începem această gala, am dorit să mulțumim sponsorilor noștri. Bet One, Las Vegas, Iglu, Militar Residence, Detailing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Eric F37 MMA All-Star? Introducing the first fight of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the first part. This will be a Campo submission only on the Campo rules. Introducing first, this will be a 90 kilogram one round 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen from Arad, introducing first, bring it on for Kofan Raul. Ladies and gentlemen from Romania, all right, give it up for Kofan Raul. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to call his opponent to the red quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, it's coming from Chennai, Ukraine. Give it up for Sick Eagle. The bread corner, age of 45, weighing 87 kilogram, height 1.80 meters, reach 1.82 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, specialize in grappling and Kempo is fighting for Kempo Ukraine, coach Amato Zaharia. Ladies and gentlemen, from Chernaut, born in Ukraine, give it up for Sick Igor. Let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Kempo on the Kempo rules. One round, ten minutes. Referee in the ring, Yamato Zaharia. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Polyvent Stadium. And it's RXF37, the MMA Jet. All Stars. And Jet. we are starting. With Kempo submission only bouts to start this tonight. No striking, of course. No cranking. And we will see grappling action as we start this show. RXF 37 Live. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. And if you're logging on nice and early back in the UK, you can enjoy the wrestling action straight away. Just
1.8 meters. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. Now, with heel hooks, that's the lock you've got to get. In Kempo, you cannot crank the heel, as you'd see in the... Some MMA, they come straight up. One 10 minute round for these guys to decide who is going to be the winner. And it's never easy to open up a show, but the venue is actually just starting to get lively already. He's got a good position there as he takes his back. That will be hard to come out, and he's tapped out. Sold his back easily there after a really, a really good start. Disappointed, you can see it on his face, but. Sick, he got. From Ukraine up. Who is grappling and All Kempo right, style. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of my rear choke goes to the blue corners. Give it up for Kofan Raul. Great start, really promising, but he will be disappointed. He gave his back up that easily there. But Kofan Rao was very, very sharp. Look, just lazy to get up there. Oh, mounted him so easily. But every lesson learns, and it's early in their fight careers, and that they will be back to fight another day. I can assure you of that. There you see, straight away, as soon as he turned him, tapped out. We're gonna get 10 minute rounds, I doubt. Any of these fights are gonna go 10 minutes, I can assure you that. So wherever you are watching from, the show is called the MMA All-Stars here tonight. from the Federation of Romania. Okay. He's talking to the Kempo officials just when I approached this venue. All right, Mr. DJ, keep rolling that music for five minutes because we need it. Too hot. Este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare dabo din Sibiu și la trei dânere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu.
This is it, this is what I wish for This isn't how I envisioned it Fame to the point of imprisonment I started to shit and be different But something changed the minute that I got a whip of it I started to be yelling, smelling, smelling All right, ladies and gentlemen For the next fight of the evening We're still at the first part On the Kempo rules One round, ten minutes Introducing first in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from Baco Romania. Please welcome to Blaj Mihai. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Ladies and gentlemen, in the cage, Blaj Mihai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call his opponent to the red corner. He's coming from Bucharest, Romania. Please welcome to Grigore Yon. Licks in the band, legacies, fan, way and see the like a pan, going on like a Montana, honey killers on the hands, legacies, fan, way and see, fan, pack is full, Dan, silent ball, can, man on the match like Randy, the chopper go out to the ground, this nigga pull up your band, all the killers on the stand, I got broads in the land, twisted to be in the fan, credit cards and the scammers, hitting the licks in the band, legacy. Why is it look like a fan? Going out like a Montana. Honey killers on the hand. Legacy, fan. Why is it? Fan. Packers for Danny. Selling ball, candy. Man out the match like Randy. The chopper go out to the ground. Then they can pull up your band. Hope the killers understand. Ladies and gentlemen, step in in the cage. Young Grigori. Ladies and gentlemen. This will be Kempo rules. It means no kicks, no punch, only submission. Ladies and gentlemen, one round, 10 minutes each. Referee in the ring, Yamato Zaharia. The blue corner, age of 28, aim 103 kilogram, height 1.93 meters, reach 1.95 meters, specialize in grappling, coach Katalin Kosaka. The red corner, age of 41, weighing 110 kilogram, height 1.93 meters, reach 1.95, specialize in MMA, grappling and kickboxing, team Agon fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, one round, 10 minutes, referee in the ring, Amato Zaharia. La mijloc. Dați una. Judge. 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 Fight. It is the first round. Hai, bune că și le vei într-o. Nu te priza, nu te priza de pereță, nu mai ține. Bune 
Again, he looks for position over the top and uses his arm to push down on the head. You've got to be careful there. There's no striking, of course. far his energy can go, he keeps fighting for that position on top and getting smothered on the ground at the moment but Grigori Ion at the moment just holding position all the time Don't forget, later on in the show today as well, professional MMA and K1, so anyone locked in, do not miss a single second of this show. We're just in the warm-up stage on this Kempo submission. 
And the corner begging him to get an underhook on there to try and get a different position there. He's pushing away from the cage there. Don't forget, they can't climb the cage either. And as he tries to move out, there is a dominance here. There is a dominance. He says it again, but I think you can hear the corner as well when he says get that underhook. And he's not going to let him have it too easily. And he taps out. Just had his head locked for too long there as well. He just couldn't get out of position from underneath as well. It was just dominance and the strength on top. Every lesson learned from the fighter though. Who has Mill Hill Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on his back? Very near to where I live back home in England, North London. Good support from the crowd here. Starting to fill up nicely. And the winner is close to the red corner with the front show. Everybody give it up for Grigori Young. The man from Ladies Bucharest. And Mulțumesc, care vreți să donați, să luăm materiale de construcții sau jucării, haine pentru copii. Să le facem sărbătorile fericite. Vă mulțumesc! Great gesture there from Grigori Ion. To Grigori Ion. Said, Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, we have an urn outside collecting well. everything you can give for a poor child. That is what martial arts is all about as well. That is the brand. And it really does produce really good characters with discipline. And Grigori Ion is dedicated to that charity. There's where he had that final choke on. It's not a good view there on the camera. But early on in the show here and everyone joining us live on this. Andrew Tate. Carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă, proaspăt, scoasă din cuptor. Fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un dăner premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun. Dabo Dăner este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la trei dănere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu.
fight of the evening. Introducing first to the blue quarter is coming from Cluj Napoca, Romania. Let's give it up for Chimboreanu Ovidiu. Somewhere, as I'm sure everyone in the MMA world does. 31 years old. Comes from a grappling MMA background. His team is Brazilian Power Team Romania, and he's coached by Octav. Presenting the Blue Order. Age 31, weighing 67 kilograms, height 1.66 meters, reach 1.68 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, specialize in grappling and MMA. Team Brazilian Power Team Romania, coach Octav Anikite. From Cluj Napoca, give it up for Jimboreanu Ovidiu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call his opponent to the red corner. He's coming from Kilia Veke Tulcha from Romania. Give it up for Spock Marius. The entrance of a Spock Marius. From Chile, Veche, Tulicia, Romania, 22 years old. From a grappling MMA background, he represents Agon Fighting and coached by Simeon Maihai and Anachiti Octav. His opponent's ready, he's ready. The stage is set, lights, cameras, action, the whole shebang. We are live at RXF number 37 here in the Bolivan Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kilia Veke to Romania, Spark Marius. Age 22, weighing 66 kilogram high, 1.72 reach, 1.72. Specialized in MMA grappling, Team Agon fighting. So, gentlemen, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this will be another fight under Campo rules. One round, ten minutes. Referee in the ring, Yamato Zaharia. And as you heard, your referee, Yamato Zaharia, brings the two fighters together here. Judge. Judge. And it is Kempo submission Judge. action. Um. Jim Barano, Ovidio, and Spack Marius head to head here and instantly gets a very good position and escapes that one very early. Goes for the double leg takedown, but the balance is good. Wants to get a position as he locks both his legs together there. And he goes for the arm bar underneath and it is reversed on him there. And they've reset. Two gentlemen fighting here. Stage is set for these guys really. It's early in the card, the stadium's just starting to fill out. Forget later. Oh, good. Double leg takedown there. And this is a very 
Very interesting competition. Two well-matched fighters with similar style here. Always wants to control the head from the inside there. Now starting to work each other out. Not easy to get the takedown now. Once you're in tune with your opponent like this. Now he has him in almost similar position as before. He wants to try and separate the leg and come on the inside just to take his guard. But he is not giving that up easily at all here. And Gian Boriano from Cluj. Napoca here in Roma. Really. Good position there and take down. Two good athletes here trying all different types of styles here now. Tried to dive in and take him by surprise there. Finished up in worst position for it, but very competent underneath. And a video gives up nothing when he's underneath at all. Spack Marius, dominant position now. As he Takes his side, and they are going to stand up from here. Again, tries for that side control. Nothing given up again from Ovidaro. Use his head to just get his range here. Don't forget your live here. At RXF number 37 it is the MMA All Stars. And we're just warming up the show with these Kempo submission only bouts. If you're watching us live on the YouTube channel or at www.rxflive.com, welcome to the show. I can promise you action for the near future. And Danny Kendrick taking you through from the commentary box. Now he's got an interesting position there as he tries to take that head from the side and He's not going to let him climb him. He, he needs to climb round to his left here. Does Marius. Very tricky customer is Ovidio. Bravo, 
This bout is very, very finely poised indeed. Just as you think the dominance is coming from Spak Marios. Jimboriano Vidu. Very comfortable to be underneath in this fight. It is a bit of a defensive game it's turning into now for him. And it is Spak Marius is constantly looking for that submission and looking for the position as he has him in a guard now. Pulls his shoulders down and lifts his body up, but Concentrating all the time and thinking all the time, just trying to work each other out now. And has Ovid, you got a plan here. Smack the hand, Matt. Yes, back Marias looking for that head all the time. Now he gets a good almost hip throw as he comes and he's taking his back and under the arm and head. He's not in a comfortable position here. It's the best position that Ovidio has had for quite a while. He straightens himself out in a position he's not going to get the guillotine like that while his head's there but now he's not going to let him wrap his body either with his legs superb skills both fighters it really is neither fighter giving up their back easily Great venue, just starting to fill up now as well. Good takedown, no position gained. Hands clumsily. High energy to this fight. Two very fit athletes in there. Cannot get a leg to get position here at all. And there it is, and he tries to get that heel hook on now. And again, but he rolls himself out of trouble and into trouble. And out again. And well, I'll tell you what, that was one of the best matchups you're likely to see. This Two fantastic fighters that have gone the distance who go to your judges' scorecard. I wonder, does it go to the dominance of Spak Marias or Wiliness and position of Jim Boreano and Ovido? Well, judges' scorecards here. Under the Campo rules. If, if nothing, nothing happened, happened after, after 10, 10 minutes, minutes, it is a draw. So, so ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen this fight will be counted as a draw. Yep, only submission makes the victory here, but both guys be very, very proud of themselves here. And what a match-up here as well for... <laughs> no mismatch whatsoever. <laughs> Să-ți-a fost mândrie.
Pentru că am zis ea. Hăsi. Mulțumesc, doar pentru susținere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a Jim Bonan and Ovidiu versus Spock Marius. I hope they entertain you. Another really good takedown and the position I got. You just see how hard it was to get anything held solid in that fight for either fighter. Very well matched. With neither fighter giving up anything through that fight. And a draw is the final decision there. We have two more bouts under the Kempo submission rules. Before we get to our main card of the evening. And our undercard, RXF 37 as well. It's Flaj Bogdan with the entrance. Flaj Naboka here in Romania at only 19 years old. He walks out to a stadium that is nicely filling up for the main card now. MMA, kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. All match this guy trains in. Represents the Irish Power Gym. He's coached by Dan Lung, Gibriano, Ovidu. Ladies and gentlemen, specialize in MMA, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Kickboxing, fighting for Brazilian power team from Cluj Napoca. Let's give it up for Brazil Boca. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to the red corner. He's coming from New York, Romania. Let's give it up for Iorca Christian. Charity we saw earlier to build that home for that poor child. A lot of fighters giving up their purses here tonight, wages to anything they get to go towards that. A Kempo submission bout. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Octave Antite and Georgis Santu from Romania, Bucharest. Let's give it up everybody for Iorga Christian. Ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you we are under the Campo rules. This will be under 72 kilograms, one round, 10 minutes. Referee in ring, Yamato Zavalia. Beginning of this 10 Judge. minute round. Judge. Judge. Could not decide a winner on the last fight. Two very well matched fighters. What has this one got in stock? It's Blash Bogdan and Igora Christian. And we are live at RXF. It's the MMA All Stars here. Two solid teams behind these two fighters representing here tonight. You're going to feel out and try and find position from the hands up top and no attempt at takedown so far. Almost faints. Like he's going for the single leg there. But you've got a 10 minute round here. There is no need to rush in whatsoever. Now he just tries to just separate the leg and try and get inside the guard there, but not easily giving up position at all. And they stand up straight away. Niceties exchanged, but position needed. Tries to climb high and good attempt, but he rolls out of danger very fast. Standing. Very strong, Igora Christian. Not easy to off balance at all. Solid, solid in his stance. Now wants that single leg. But not easy when you've got your back to the cage and you've got that to help you there. Just hold position, climbs with him and holds his weight on the body, which will tire his opponent out. And don't forget, you cannot slam to the floor under the Kempo submission rules. Now, just kicks out to take that leg and try and get the position and he's... Pushes him to the cage as well. Attempted takedown, lands him in the guard. Good position from Igora Christian here. Very patient in his build up. Wants that right leg of Bogdan. The man from Kluch. Napoca. Now. Having to escape himself. And he desperately wants that ankle there. 
He's not going to be able to free that leg at all. And if anything, he's got to be careful he doesn't have his back taken here. And escapes very well. Gets a good position himself almost. <laughs> a little nod to his corner as well from Bogdan now. Rolls well. Very intelligent fighters. Rolling well, but does not give up his arm easily here. Constant battle for position here and fluent rolling. Is he going to give up his back easily? Didn't end well earlier in the show. What was your second or first fight? But he's comfortable there. He's not going to give him anything for free. You're watching the RXF number 37 live in the Pullivan Stadium here in Bucharest. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Those who are watching also on RXF YouTube channel or www.rxflive.com. Turn into a bit of a stalemate now as well. There's two very well matched fighters here. And martial artists, of course. Not sort of balancing, not easy when you're on the cage wall there. You can push your weight on them there, of course, and doesn't mind giving up his back. He's very comfortable there. He wore an elbow to the nose there as he went down. It was totally unintentional. It's just how he landed. And a dominant position there from Igora Christian. Just controlling him by his left hand and stopping him manoeuvring away. And goes for that leg again. The pattern from before. He wants that lock, but the defence is good from Bogdan. I can't see Blaj Bogdan giving that up too easily. And he hasn't again. But there's the heel hook and he's out just as I thought he'd escaped. He came out of trouble and into trouble again. And the heel hook was on. Just warming up on the show with these Kempo submission only fights here. And he got a Christian. Just found that frailing leg for about one second. Just puts a difference between two very matched fighters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by a straight foot lock for the red corner give it for your Christian. Don't forget, of course, you cannot crank the ankle like in MMA, but what you can do, you can get that front foot lock. 
Mulțumim mult că ați venit astăzi ne susțineți în această gală. Ai vrea să faci un anunț. Susținem eu împreună cu echipa mea. Susținem familia Tenase. Aveți la intrare un stand care se ocupă special. Yet again for the Tenase family. Și vă așteptăm cât puteți. They let the crowd know they really want to raise as much money as they can for these guys in the true style of a true martial artist. Was looking for that leg during that fight, and there gets the foot where he wanted it. Just a split second, he lost his concentration there. Wasn't giving it up easily throughout the fight, was he? But just as it came now, transitioned very, very fast to his left leg. Took the foot very, very quickly. Was looking for that. You could see that. Looked it for a couple of times during that fight. Le pui 100%. Chiflă caldă, proaspăt, scoasă din cuptor. Fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un dăner premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun. Dabo Döner este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la trei dönere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu. Specializing grappling, fighting for hero. Ladies and gentlemen, from Romania, Brazil, give it up for Bertan Julian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present from Timișoara, Romania. Let's give it up for Marco Sasha.
Presenting the red corner, Asia 30, weighing 90 kilograms, height 1.74 meters, reach 1.76 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, specializing grappling, wrestling, and mixed martial arts team, Iguana Fight Team, Timishwara. From Romania, Timishwara, give it up for Marco Sasta. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 92 kilogram bout, one round, 10 minutes. Referee in the ring, Yamato Zaharia. La mijloc. Saltați. Judge, 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 fight! Sexta guard do Sasha.
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Afaya Hanbar. Let's give it up for the blue corner, Bartal Julian.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, doamnelor și doamnelor, iată că a fost pentru voi prima parte acestui show, Kempo. Și urmează Eric Sepp, 37 de MMA All-Star. Dar mai întâi de toate, o pauză de 10 minute, merităm cu tot ce ai. Thank you very much! Nu uitați, 10 minute, întoarcem aici pentru Eric Sepp, 37 de MMA All-Star. Well, there's that position where he got his arm at the end of that long, long round. And they were well into the last approach in the last minute. <laughs> Tried really hard to escape there, but... Once he pulled that arm, it was curtains.
say girls love money, and that's not entirely true. Carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă, proaspăt, scoasă din cuptor. Fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un dăner premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun. Dabo Dăner este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la trei dănere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu. Ce pot să spun că sunt sportiv în loc de 30 și ceva de ani. Unii, unii luptători se jucau, să zic așa, sau erau în Pampers când am luat primul titlu mondial. Ce pot să vă spun că nu pot să refuz. Dacă refuz orice luptă, înseamnă că totul a fost degeaba, ce am făcut eu până acum. Deci oricând, nu pot să zic cu drag, pentru că aici nu pot să iubești pe nimeni în cușcă, dar oricând accept orice provocare de la orice luptător. Șansa va fi dată de mine. Vă mulțumesc frumos, o seară plăcută. Vă iubesc! Ladies and gentlemen, don't you mess with Sandu Lungu. That's what's up. That's what I understand from this. <laughs> All right, here we go now, ladies and gentlemen, for Eric Sam 37 MMA All Star. All right, like I said, we are the Eric Sanford 37 MMA All-Star. Introducing the first fight of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a 57 kilogram bow, the three round, the three minute each. Welcome back to what we know the most and the best. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first in the blue corner, he's coming from Korambad, Iran. Let's give it up for Omid Zarinjui. Iran. 
who enters under K1 rules here tonight. It's Omid Zarinjui. Five years old. And he's the third fight here. He uh, fights out the uh, team Red Dragon. And trains in MMA and kickboxing. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I want to call this winner to the red corner. It's coming from Romania, Bucharest. Let's give it up for... The entrance of Hu Ha Long from Bucharest, Romania. International bout here, only 18 years old. He competes kickboxing and karate from the CSO Voluntari Gym. Stage is set for kickboxing under that K1 rule set here. Omid Zarangoy and Ho Ha Long Robert. Long rangy shots from the Iranian fighter. And instantly. Covers that ground himself, push kick to keep him away, but the Iranian is coming strong and wears two very sharp hooks from Robert. Jab cross and kick to the body and that has sunk his opponent early in this fight. That body kick put him to the canvas. I don't think he's going to beat the count. No, that's one kick to the body and there is no way he's getting up from that. Explosive start from the Iranian head. Didn't even get started really. Came out explosive. And Omid Zarangoy has come out in spectacular fashion and laid it down. Corner team just seeing to their fighter here. There it was. A big kick to the body there. The knee 
caught the body. He was so pushed his hip through that shot. It was the knee that caught his floating rib. This fight is over before it starts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by a technical knockout in the first round. Let's give it up for the blue corner from Iran, Omid Zarin Shui. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like who are all just focus on. Ah. What can we do? We're going to give you a next chance. Now, there was me thinking it was the knee from the kick that went to his body here. From Romania, ladies and gentlemen. But his arm has gone as he went in there. I can't actually see what contact has caused that. The third, fourth replay we have where he holds his arm, he's in pain. And he's saying his arm is broken there and he's being seen to by the officials outside. It is his right arm. The first fight from the Eric Step on the card. For the next one, introducing first to the blue corner is coming from Pitesh to Romania. Let's give it up for Mihai Laurenciu Yorga. I feel like the sky is falling down. The entrance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the blue corner. Age of 22, weighing 70 kilograms, height 170 meters, reach of 172 meters, having a principal record of 4 5, 2 wins and 2 losses. He's fighting for Fight Academy Pitage. Ladies and gentlemen, from Pitage, Romania. Let's give it up for me. I love you. Yoga! He's coming from 
of Rajvan Churchill, the 19-year-old from Bucharest here, fighting his hometown in Romania. My high yoga waiting in the cage for him. Chichel has a background in Kempo, like we saw the Kempo submission fights earlier on, so watch out for him on the ground. But the takedowns I'm expecting from Yorga, who is a judo specialist. We are in the beginning of the uh, undercard Ladies here, gentlemen. RXF 37. First round here, and we are on the, the real undercard of the show now. Stadium just starting to fill up here. It's RXF number 37 here at the Polyvan Stadium. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box for anyone who is joining us live at home. And spinning heel back kick just misses its target. Lively start to find his range here from Chichel. Strong hands and leaves himself a little bit exposed with his footwork there. Constantly trying to close the gap all the time. And my high at Yorga. Warming into this fight. Goes for single leg takedown and has to come up very quickly. Now he's got that leg, but a good, good balance there from Yorga. Stops him taking him down too easily. There he is, but he, in a bad position as he holds that neck. The guillotine is going on there. As he holds it from the front, and that is the end of that. Good grip he had on there early. And after a lively, lively start from Razavan Shadevs. Mahaya Yoga jumps to the top of the cage to celebrate his victory here. But the minute his head was in range, he choked that neck. And it's over. There he is there, got a very good position. And once those legs went round the back, it was only going to go one way. He didn't look like he was going to escape from that.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is a by submission in the first round. Let's check it out for the blue corner. Mihai Lawrence Yoga! Good performance from Mihai Yoga. Patient in his build up to that. And as a fan, Shashel was confident. He stand up there and wanted to put it on him very, very early and was lively, hungry to get on with it. But the war is not won in one battle. As soon as those legs got to the back, it did not look like he was going to escape there. Again, when you see the takedown, he spread his arms wide. He could not get on the inside. He was never going to free those hands. And far too easy it looks in the end there. The 66 kilogram, three round, three minute each. Introducing first, from the blue corner, is coming from Cluj, Napoca, Romania. Let's give it up for Daniel Drotar. of Drota Darel from Cluj, Napoca, Romania, 22 years old in kickboxing and mixed martial artist. Three wins and no losses. He's undefeated. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome to the one and only Dario Rotar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call this one into the red corner. This is coming from the Let's give it up for Mihaita Radu. And for his opponent, Mihaita Radu from Bucharest, Romania, 29 years old. He's got years on his opponent, but 
one win and eight losses on the record. He needs to set records a little straighter here tonight. Background in mixed martial arts is from the Miners team. The fireworks are being set. One win and eight losses. Ladies and gentlemen, he's fighting for Miners. Let's give it up from Bucharest, Romania to Melissa Radu. And here we go, a five minute round. Mixed martial arts action and the last of our undercard here tonight. It's Dario Drota. And Mihaya Radu. And they are in lights, camera, action, the whole shebang. The stage is set for these fighters now. As the stadium starts to fill up. In preparation of a serious fight card here. At RXF number 37. Quick recovery, back to the action. Good, strong hands and those four ounce gloves, believe me, punches sting. Goes down, low kick, mixes up with a high kick and then lets hooks go on his opponent who holds on. And now drops into his guard. Needs to gain control here. Don't think Mihai Daradu needs to stand up in this fight. He's more comfortable underneath there. He needs to protect himself with that hook. Cut to the left eye of Radu. Trying to hold himself in that guard and keep himself strong, but needs to protect his head. And he picks him up now and drops himself down Radu before he gets slammed. Needs to pass that guard. He's managed to catch his head and lock him in there. It's far too easy to escape. And now he's going to try and establish some ground and pound as he gets there. But the defence is better from Radu now. But finds that right hand as he drives it through the barrier. Round the side and tries to stamp there. And now he mounts his opponent. And he's going to show him his back as he... Hits him with elbows from the top. He can't just turn around and show him he's back here. He shows him half. So far, Drota has a very, very strong grip on this fight. And a good control as he mounts his opponent and stays dominant on there. Locks that arm in there. Again, doesn't establish the shots that he wants there. And Radu's hanging in there at the moment, but he needs to escape here. He's 
mounted him again at two easily and finds himself in a position where he can give ground and pound. He's not going to show him his back easily here. And Nisa move his head and protect himself. The referee will not see too many unanswered shots either, though. If he shows his back, he will be susceptible to a guillotine here. So far, staring down the punches and elbows. Elban away at the guard. The referee's having a good look. If he's not going to escape from there. And that is enough for this referee here. Too many unanswered shots and... Big cut to the eye, but... Dario Drotta. The dominant fighter here. And Mahaya Radu hugging for a very long time. All due respect to him, he didn't show him. He's back under that rain of punches and elbows as he wanted to hang in there. But too many unanswered shots, and your referee has had enough. Never even pushed his hips up. He's never going to escape from that position once he was fully mounted. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by ground and pound. And in the first round, let's give it up for the blue corner, Dotto Dario. Very impressive win for Dotto Dario. Mahaita, Radu, needs to work on some stuff with that team. Got to try and escape. Have to try and escape when you're underneath in those positions. Or you will get punished. And Drotar Dario steals the undercard here. Aggressive from the very beginning. Constantly dominant on top, as you can see here. And passes that guard easily, he takes his back for a second. And then just too many unanswered punches and elbows was enough for our referee here at RXF. And the fighter lives to fight another day. But we will go into our main card here today. No attempt to escape from under there either. Easier said than done, I know, but... Referee doing his job very well. And for me, time that to perfection.
Ladies and gentlemen, bine v-am găsit, doamnelor și domnilor, și bine ați venit aici la sala Pole Valiente din București pentru Eric Sef, 37 MMA All Star. Iată ne-a ajuns la main card din acest event, ladies and gentlemen, care va culmina cu main eventul care va avea pe Varzat Gaderi din Iran și românul nostru, Ion Surdu. Are you ready? Let's start first. Prima luptă din această gală, Eric Sef, 37. Give it up for, ladies and gentlemen, blue corner, Ionita Viorel from Romania, Slobozia. This is honor, those, trust, quatch, 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 quatch. Free old chapel, ho! Fuck your bitch, get a bad from it, then I never call her. Now she tripping, going crazy, nigga, tell her, let her bubble. OG, see me coming through and they say, that's a baller, that's a baller. That's a nigga starting from the bottom, really in that order. Make a car, bring them pants down. Smoke a lot, like the rats there. Niggas want to come around now, cause they know they really got a crown now. Put my man so I put the crown down, tell her, tell her. When it cut the action, niggas ride with me, screaming, murder, 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 murder. Niggas falling off, bitches falling through. Call them play like a auto boot. Get the money with your other dude. Need a plug, I can make a call or two. Put you on, nigga, put you on, I can put you on. What you doing, nigga? What you doing, nigga? What you doing? What you doing, nigga? Get the bad by the way, Trilla. You around cause you paid, niggas. In the dark, really straight, niggas. Woman, right? the ladies and gentlemen presenting the blue corner. Age of 20, weighing 75 kilograms, height 1.78 meters, reach 1.8. Ladies and gentlemen, this is debut in kickboxing and MMA. Let's give it up from Romania, Slobozia. Let's give it up for Yonita Viorel. Wonder why I got the chains on me. All the more I got a range on me. Shit, a hundred thousand in the tank to me. What's your range on me? This another level. Let the rally get another bezel. She don't dimmy, get another shovel. Go and get the money where I'm never set it. When the jail came back home, then I got rich. Damn. When the jail again came back home, then I got nicked. Damn. Niggas praying that I got a jail again so they can pop shit. All right, Mr. DJ, and now I would like to call this opponent to the red corner. He's coming from Bucharest, Romania. Let's give it up for Olaru Maria. of Alaro Marianne from Bucharest, Romania here. 40 years young, should I say. But here to fight with a man half his age. As history in Kempo, BJJ and kickboxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the red corner, age of 40, weighing 74 kilograms, height 1.83 meters, reach 1.85 meters, and puts on a record of two fights, one win and one loss. Specializing in Kempo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and kickboxing, fighting for the team Amato Budokan. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bucharest, Romania, please welcome to Olaru Maria! 
Volaru Marian enters the cage now. <laughs> RXF. Yep, first of three five minute rounds. And on the business end of this fight card in the welterweight division. Coaches are Mahai Mania. And Dineche George head to head here Judge. with the two fighters. Fight. And it is 40 years old v 20 years old, but is it experience or youth and development? We'll see. Exchanging low kicks early to break the transportation down. Inside low kick to fill his opponent, give him his range. Seeing up that left hand, but standing very, very side on there. Making it easy to find that low kick early, but he catches his kick and takes him down there. Instantly tries to go for the kill with those punches, but takes side control now. Ianitsa on top. And Olario Marian needs to find an escape from this under position here. And does he want to stand him up here? No, he wants to get position and dive down. Get those punches, a dominant position as he mounts his opponent. And it's over. Over early. Well, referee called that. And Alario Marianne gave that up far too easily for me. And VRL, Ionitsa comes out victorious. And the 20-year-old has laid it down here. The team of CSM, Uniria, Slobozia, taking that victory. Referee had enough, just flurry of punches and Taps out under the pressure of punches. Well, sometimes it takes all the attributes of a fighter, heart, courage, determination does come into it, but no attempt to escape there at all. Taps out under the pressure of shots. Just that pure pressure. Once he was on a full mount there and just exchanged it. None of those punches were really devastating through the guard, if I'm honest. It was pressure and I'm not the one receiving them here in the commentary box, of course, but tapped out far too easily in front of this crowd here. And at 40 years old, the 20 year old has come and spun him in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next fight of the evening will be a live 
heavyweight bow on a 70 kilogram three round of five minute age. Introducing first in the blue corner is coming from Sakne, Iran. Let's give it up for Masum Razavi. of Masum Razavi from Iran, international belt here in Romania. 28 year old with eight wins and only one loss. The MMA practitioner from the Red Dragon Gym, trained by Masa Jafari. Lightweight contest here, and it is the entrance of Masum Razavi. Ladies and gentlemen, from Iran, Sahneh. Let's give it up for Masoud Razavi. Razavi just soaking up the moment. And the big expectations for this fight. He looks in pristine condition. Looking very strong at 70 kilograms here. All right, Mr. BJ is time to change the music. Does it sound for the red corner? He's coming from Bucharest, Romania. Let's give it up for Bloody! The entrance of Florina Perta, the 19 year old, with a record of three straight wins, no losses. Background in Kempo and Rugby. A strong competitor here. Expectations for this bout. A huge, huge entrance for the crowd favourite here as Florine Aperta right, enters for this international bout. The first of three five-minute rounds. And like I say, the crowd expecting big, big things of this fight. International bout here at RXF. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. 
and fireworks expected here. It's Iran and Romania head to head. And good support for Florina Burta. Left hook finds its target. Zavi wants to close that gap and take centre of the cage, but has to protect that leg. Perta wants to kill you with every shot at the moment. Wants to charge in with that low kick, but a little out of range at this time. Both fighters looking strong at 70 kilograms. And heavy inside low kick, the artillery from Purta. Oh, the kick goes high. If you commit to that kick, he'd have found the head of Rosavi, but down they go. Rosavi is fighting to get position in the guard, but. Purta taking a very, very good position as he takes to the ground. And wants that hand. Scurrying for position here. The stage is set for these two fighters here. Crowd really behind them in here. Heavily supported Florin Purta here. And he's fighting not just for himself, but this Bucharest crowd here in Bucharest and fighting in his backyard is Masum Rosavi. Down into the guard again. But he's not going to let him settle in there very easily at all. He's strong, Rosavi. He holds position well. But Florin Berta comfortable with his back to the floor. And not giving any limbs away easily here. Zavi finds the right elbow there. And Florin Porta needs to get a better position if he wants to establish elbows of his own. And now he gets his heel to the hip to try and push away Rosavi as he has. Rosavi kicks to that shin as he's on the floor. He can't find that fight. And Purta needs to stand up here surely. As he was susceptible to that kick as he came, but timed it well. And finds that left knee on the inside of the action. Up stand the fighters, up stands the crowd with them. And Purta and Razavi living up to expectations so far from this crowd. One take down to this round as we enter the last 30 seconds. Again, in the guard, but he's hard to pin down in there, Puerta. One mistake and he escapes. And he gets a very good position here as he locks the head with his legs. He couldn't get that arm, I don't think he wanted. And this will see him comfortably into round two. Oh, my God. 
we're going to get into round two and just that is the curse of the commentator the crowd goes absolutely wild in here local hero has taken in with seconds to go in round one and Masum Razavi will be disappointed with that Just as quick as that. Once he got that, once he had his head in that triangle there, he was hit, he was going out. Superb skills there. There's the triangle formed. And once the leg was caught. It was all over and he tapped. And that is mixed martial arts, ladies and gentlemen. Great performance from Florin Perta in this international bout here at RXF. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is with a triangle submission. Let's give it up for the grand corner. Bloody Pizza! Wonderful. Vreau să vă urez sărbători de fericitate cu cei alături, dragi și iubiți. Să fiți sănătoși și iubiți. Sărbători fericite! Ladies and gentlemen, go around the applause for Florin Pierre. Wonderful match. This is the DJ Compose of Music. It's a celebration time. All right, here we go. Is the entrance of Masum Razavi. It wins in one loss. He's fighting for Red Dragon coach Masum Jafari. Ladies and gentlemen, from Iran, Sanev. Let's give it up for. Razavi. Razavi just soaking up the moment and the big expectations for this fight. He looks in a pristine condition. Looking very strong at 70 kilograms here. All right, Mr. BJ is starting to change the music. Does it sound for the grand corner? He's coming from Bucharest, Romania. Let's give it up for Bloody!
the entrance of Florin Perta, the 19-year-old, with a record of three straight wins, no losses. Background in Kempo and rugby. A strong competitor here. Expectations for this bout. Huge, huge entrance for the crowd favourite here as Florine All Perta right, enters for this international bout. The first of three five minute rounds. And like I say, the crowd expecting big, big things of this fight. International bout here at RXF. I'm Fire. Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. And fireworks expected here. It's Iran and Romania head to head. And good support for Florina Burta. Left hook finds his target. Zavi wants to close that gap and take centre of the cage, but has to protect that leg. Perta wants to kill you with every shot at the moment. Wants to charge in with that low kick, but a little out of range at this time. Both fighters looking as strong at 70 kilograms. And heavy inside low kick, the artillery from Purta. Oh, the kick goes high. If you commit to that kick, he'd have found the head of Rosavi, but down they go. Rosavi is fighting to get position in the guard, but. Puerta taking a very, very good position as he takes to the ground. Wants that hand. Scurrying for position here. The stage is set for these two fighters here. Crowd really behind them in here. Heavily supported Florin Puerta here. And he's fighting not just for himself, but this Bucharest crowd here in Bucharest. It was just one last push towards the end of the round there. Oh. 
The entrance of Mirko Johanovic from Novi Sad in Serbia, an international bout here at RXF. 24 years old. The background in MMA, he is a military team trained by Alexander Alexic. He has two wins, eight losses. That experience comes to the cage here for three five minute rounds of MMA action. Fighting a very experienced fighter here tonight, though. And the Serbian has come to upset the party. I would like to introduce in the cage to the red corner. He's coming from Romania Cluj. Everybody, let's give it up for Bogdan Barbu. Now the entrance of Bogdan Barbu from Cluj, Romania, 30 years old and 15 wins and 10 losses to his record, coached by Laxco Lavente. Background in kickboxing, boxing and wrestling. Will the experience of the 30-year-old be what he needs to take the 24-year-old from Serbia? It's Serbia and Romania head to head here.
stage is set for this one. It really is. As you heard, first of three, a five-minute rounds matched in the featherweight division. And Mirko Johanovic and Bogdan Babu head to head, Romania and Serbia. Running backwards, the Serbian there in a straight line around the cage and gets told to stand up from Johanovic. And then, easily down with that right hook and goes to floor and had his leg taken very quickly and the end of that fight and I tell you what Mirko Johanovic never looked easy in that fight at all went back straight line round the cage and made it very easy for Bogdan Barbu As soon as he took that leg, he tapped. Sometimes in this sport, you're going to need a little bit more courage and determination, I'm afraid. But Bogdan Barbu. Happy with the submission, but I think he wanted more. There's the heel hook. No attempt at a break at all to get out of there. Just fell into that heel hook there. And look how easily he went down from that right hand as well. Far too easy for Bogdan Babu and he'll be harder fights down the line. Never easy to come to the backyard of a fighter like he is here in Romania. The winner is by submission in the first round. The winner, Hill Hook. Let's give it up for the right corner. Bogdan Barbu. Barbu takes all the glory here, but he needs a bigger test. This boy is hungry. So dominant, it was that position early in the fight where he made him stand up. He wanted more out of this guy. But presented him his foot almost to take that heel hook and he didn't bear even a second of it. And the transition was so easy in the end for Barbu, but like I say, a stronger test will lie ahead for this boy. And unfortunately, it's a long journey back to Serbia. It's Masum Rozavi. Down into the guard again. But he's not going to let him settle in there very easily at all.
He's strong, Rosavi. He holds position well. But Florin Berta, comfortable with his back to the floor. And not giving any limbs away easily here. Zavi finds the right elbow there. And Florin Porta needs to get a better position if he wants to establish elbows of his own. And now he gets his heel to the hip to try and push away Razavi as he has. Razavi kicks to that shin as he's on the floor. He can't find that fight. And Purta needs to stand up here, surely. As he was susceptible to that kick as he came, but timed it well. And finds that left knee on the inside of the action. Up stand the fighters, up stands the crowd with them. And Purta and Razavi living up to expectations so far from this crowd. One take down to this round as we enter the last 30 seconds. Again, in the Garbi. Hard to pin down in there, Puerta. One mistake and he escapes. And he gets a very good position here as he locks the head. With his legs, he couldn't get that arm, I don't think he wanted. This will see him comfortably into round two. Oh, my God. I thought we were going to get into round two, and just that is the curse of the commentator. The crowd goes absolutely wild in here. Local hero has taken him with seconds to go in round one. And Masum Razavi will be disappointed with that. And just as quick as that. Once he got that, once he had his head in that triangle there, he was he was going out. Superb skills there. There's the triangle formed. And once the leg was caught, it was all over and he tapped. And that is mixed martial arts, ladies and gentlemen. Great performance from Florin Perta in this international bout here at RXF. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is with a triangle submission. Let's give it up for the grand corner. Bloody Pizza! <laughs> Wonderful. Vreau să vă urez sărbători și fericite cu cei alături, dragi și iubiți. Să fiți sănătoși și iubiți. Sărbători fericite! Ladies and gentlemen, all the round of applause for Florin Pirca! Wonderful match. Mr. DJ, come on, put some music. It's a celebration time. All right, here we go.
that really was just one last push towards the end of the round there. Carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă, proaspăt, scoasă din cuptor. Fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un dăner premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun. Dabo Dăner este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la trei dănere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu. The entrance of Mirko Johanovic from Novi Sad in Serbia, an international bout here at RXF. 24 years old. The background in MMA, he is a military team trained by Alexander Alexic. He has two wins, eight losses. That experience comes to the cage here for three five-minute rounds of MMA action. Fighting a very experienced fighter here tonight, though. And the Serbian has come to upset the party. I would like to introduce in the cage to the red corner. He's coming from Romania Cluj. Everybody, let's give it up for Bogdan Barbu. Now the entrance of Bogdan Barbu from Cluj, Romania, 30 years old and 15 wins and 10 losses to his record, coached by Laxco Lavente. Background in kickboxing, boxing and wrestling. Will the experience of the 30-year-old be what he needs to take the 24-year-old from Serbia? It's Serbia and Romania head to head here.
stepping in the cage of Raquel Bogdanbago. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start this by presenting the Blue Corner. Age 24, weighs 66 kilograms, height 4.75 meters, reach 4.77 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, specialized in mixed martial arts, team militar team from Serbia, Novi Sad. Let's give it up for everybody for Miko Jovanovi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Grand Corner, age 30. Weight Stage is set for this one, it really is. As you heard, first of three, a five minute rounds match in the featherweight division. And Mirko Johanovic and Bogdan Babu head to head, Romania and Serbia. Running backwards, the Serbian there in a straight line around the cage. It gets told to stand up from Johanovic. And then, easily down with that right hook and goes to floor. And had his leg taken very quickly. And the end of that fight, and I tell you what, Mirko Johanovic never looked easy in that fight at all. Went back straight line round the cage and made it very easy for Bogdan Babu. And as soon as he took that leg, he tapped. Sometimes in this sport, you're going to need a little bit more courage and determination, I'm afraid. Bogdan Barbu. Happy with the submission, but I think he wanted more. There's the heel hook. No attempt at a break at all to get out of there. Just fell into that heel hook there. Look how easily he went down from that right hand as well. Far too easy for Bogdan Babu and he'll be harder fights down the line. Never easy to come to the backyard of a fighter like he is here in Romania. <laughs> Submission in the first round, the winner, Hill Hook. Let's give it up for the front corner, Bogdan Barbu. And Barbu takes all the glory here, but he needs a bigger test. This boy is hungry. Carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă, proaspăt, scoasă din cuptor. Fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un donor premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun.
Double Donor este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la 3 donere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu. in the blue corner is coming from Ukraine. Let's give it up for Ibrahim Lee Blackroll. The entrance of Ibrahim Lee Blackroll via the Ukraine, 19 years old. With a background in Kempo. Debutant fighter here, but looks determined, strong, and bravely it comes to Romania. For a hard challenge today. from the Ukraine. And the RYM team is trained by Rolf Ibrahimli. And a real, real test for this fighter tonight. Journey to Romania for this man. Fearless. Now stepping in the cage from Ukraine, Ibrahim Lee Toglu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 
I like, like to call this open into the red corner. corner. He's, He's coming, coming from PK from me. Let's, Let's give it up for Lord and Two Kalugaru. And that cry from the crowd is for Latiniuchu Kalugaru. Romanian is 30 years old. We have a background in karate, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and kickboxing. He represents the Fight Academy Pitesti. He's coached by Chiru Adrian and Botta Gabriel. He brings 10 wins and only two losses to the cage tonight. And a huge test for the Ukrainian debutant in the cage right now. The pressure of fighting in front of your home crowd as well, though. Or oh, the advantage is how every individual fighter takes it. Kalukru Last instructions for Tugru in the ring right now. But the Ukrainian machine, no respect here tonight. The home crowd. Call their fighter into the cage. Now stepping in the cage from Vitesh Romeo with you, Kalugaru. All right, Mr. DJ, drop it completely. Thank you. Presenting the Blue Corner. Just 19, 19 point seven kilogram, height 48 meters, reach 48 meters. Have a perfect record, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first time right here in a cage. All right, let's welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, from the Ukraine. Let's give it up for Ibrahim Lee Pogel. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting. The red corner, age of 30, weighs 7 kilograms, height 1.77 meters, have a personal record of 12 fights, 10 wins, and 2 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, from Pitesh, Romania, let's give it up everybody for Lauretu Calogaro! Calogaro has to be a wide favourite for this. But will the fearless Ukrainian Togru really upset the apple cart here tonight? This could spoil the party for sure, this one. But Kalogaru. Almost stone cold in stature. Lead, kick and switch of stance from Togoro. Switching the stances, but where's a right hand? And now presses Calogaro to the cage. So far, the event has not got to the Ukrainian. He's showing a very good courage from, from the off here.
balance and gets turned into the cage wall. Nothing given away from either fighter so far. And a good defence from the Ukrainian as well. Using his right shoulder to just control the Ukrainian here. Trying to assert some authority on him early. Tries to knee down to that thigh. He's not even giving him that easy either. Tries to find that uppercut on the inside there. He controls it by holding his hand. And again tries to knee that leg. And wants that single leg takedown now. But the balance is good from Togoro. Really struggling with that takedown originally, and now he gets his man where he wants him. But not exactly. The RYM team in Ukraine must have been brave to take this fight with the experience, but must have had the confidence in their man and belief. Yes. Protecting himself well so far, not getting outmatched at all. And after three minutes, nothing between these fighters really. Got a grip of the glove temporarily. Just manages to keep his heel under the armpit to stop him initiating any ground and pound there at all, really. It's a really good defence so far from the young Ukrainian. Is he going to show him that heel easily there? He's now trying to go to the leg temporarily. It's Kalugaro. But the defence work with his back to the canvas is very, very impressive for me from Tugaro. Tries to close those legs so he can move round and get a good position on the side. At some point he's got to try and drive himself up or grab one of his limbs, but good hand speed then from Kalogaru. Oh, dives down to try and get that takedown on the single leg. And it's a double leg takedown where he gets his opponent to the canvas. He's not pinned in there yet. Knees to the inside leg and looks for position here. Caligado trying to knee the legs on there, but he's not scoring there. And it's a really good round, and I'm very impressed with the Ukrainian. His young age on his debut here. His corner team will be proud with that, and they'll move forward. There's a certain belief about them. Caligado's team come and tend to their fighters straight away. Just see, there's the single leg takedown. He finally got his man down. Didn't get the slam I think he wanted and didn't get the position he wanted when he got in there. Very calm and relaxed on his, on his debut here, the Ukrainian. He's setting up to be a really good fight now. 
experience aside, age aside, home advantage aside. Whatever you've got down there on paper, this is a good matchup. And I don't think anyone in this stadium knows which way this fight's going to go from there. Interesting to see how the judges have scored that first round as well. Now, I don't speak Ukrainian, but I can tell you, clearly they are saying, go for the takedown yourself. Closes in. I love the way he switches his stance. Loves to go from orthodox to southpaw. Trying to tee up that kick all the time. and He's happy to exchange punches on the inside. Good right hand from Kalugaru. Didn't follow it up. Second there. Charges for that single leg. Good balance from the Romanian. Turn, and a very good turn there. Very good turn from Tagaru. Just shows some good jury skills at that side. The guillotine is on as he tries to get his legs round. Has he got that clean? No, it's a great escape from Caligari. For a second there, I thought he had him on. A great defence there from Caligari. Now he has got him in his guard. Using his head to just keep the Ukrainian's head to the cage and try and get his position again. No way you're going to initiate power in your punches from there, but. Up he comes, and the right elbow goes to the chin of Togrol, but he's tough, this kid. Two very tough compares. Look how he's using his head. Very invasive from Kalugaru. Turned into a great fight, this one, actually. Very well matched. And the records speak no numbers at all on paper. Because when they go to the canvas, these two guys have had different attributes that have clashed and collided. Halfway through round two. And nothing in this fight so far. In the guard, just fine for position, but. Togro is not going to let him get that head up and he's going to keep pushing his head into the face to make it awkward. But from there, is he trying to find a limb or find a position? <laughs> Left and right punches, but whether he's generating power in there, only Caligaru will know and he's happy to stay in there. Is he wasting energy? He is struggling to get himself up. He, he can't get his heel onto the hip and escape. Looks to the skies and just looks a bit out of ideas of how he's going to escape this one. If he can, if he can last a minute and 15, that's one way. But it's a really well contested bout here at RXF. We're live from Bucharest. And the business end of the show. Again, it doesn't let him escape. I can see where he wants to go with that. 
But Togrul's calm, relaxed. And for a debutant fighter, I tell you what, he has laid it down here in spectacular fashion today with a very, very uh, professional approach to this fight and a big future for this kid. 19 years young, of course. But at the moment, he is struggling to get the freedom of Calogaro, who then stands his fighter up at the end of the round. But we'll go into the third and final round here. Just trying to tee up that kick in Taekwondo style as a Ukrainian. I wonder which martial arts he's done in the past after I've seen that. It says Kempo on his record, but as his training style. But I tell you what, I saw other attributes of martial arts during those first two rounds here. And RXF fight night is delivering now with what's turned out to be a really, really well-competed bout. But with two tired fighters, do you suddenly say, I start to fancy the 19-year-old, the debutant against the 30-year-old with the 12 fights experience? Judges will have their scorecards on round one and two. There was a lot of dominance, I know, from Kalugaru at certain stages, but definitely had his moments in this fight, the Ukrainian. And he's calling his fighter on now. He's starting to enjoy it in there. He's starting to feel comfortable and find his place in the cage. He needs to be aggressive, but not stupid. And I'm very pleased so far with the professionalism. Dives down for that single leg. Manages to get his leg to the midsection. But the balance and strength of Laurentio Caligaro is present. Elbow to the head when he had his head low. Superb knee to the midsection, and that has hurt the Ukrainian. Kalagaru shows a Muay Thai skill as he delivers that knee to the midsection, and that really hurt his opponent, spun him back. And is that the difference between these two fighters that the judges have been looking for over three rounds? Really starting to deliver the Romanian now. And that's is where this fight will go. Referee will bring them back together and straight away smelt blood. The gum shield's out. He's at salts now, the Ukrainian. Now we've seen the professionalism of him. Let's see his heart, his courage, his determination, his want of the win. Approach at the halfway stage, and then the fight is over. That knee was a turning point in this bout. And two fighters lay to the ground in exhaustion. But the knees turned that fight around. They really did at one point. And then, where did Takaro find that? You have to be impressed with the young fighter's performance here. Hey, yo, Look at those hands chasing him down there. I like this song, by the way. <laughs> right hooks flying. He was on the run there. There's that right hook that put him down temporarily. And in that came that choke. 
once he levered his body down, that was the end of the bout. But he has to be impressed with his performance here. He really does. Lorenzo Calagorov just proved too much in the end. But those knees were the turning point of that fight for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is uh, by a submission in the third round. Let's give it up for Romania to Lorenzo Calugado. Best fight of the show so far for me. And what on paper did not look what who's going to turn out to be became a very, very well matched contest. And I hope the young Ukrainian takes all the positives out the cage here tonight because that boy will be back. That is a special talent there for the debutant fighter. And bravery and courage are things he can add to his attributes and repertoire. Got to keep his chin down when he approaches. He's easy to hit there. But he'll watch these fights back and he'll learn. His team will watch him back and they'll learn. It's definitely not the last we've seen of this boy. Lorientu Kalugaru, just so strong in his punches. And once he delivered, he was not going to take a step backwards. That position there was the end of this contest. The stand-up punishment got him to the level where he couldn't protect himself from that though. That choke was yes. tight. Six kilogram, three round, five minute each. Introducing first in the blue corner is coming from Kishino, Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Julian Grasso.
Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to call this opponent to the ground. Corner is coming from Cruz Romania. Let's give it up for Chibria Mari. The entrance of uh, Cipriana Marish from Cluj in Romania, 28 years old, with background in MMA, grappling, and uh, Lupte Libere. Represents the MMA Transylvania team. Coach Priana Tudor and Victor Lupo. It's Moldova and Romania head to head here on RXF fight card. It's RXF number 37 here at the Polyvan Stadium in Bucharest. It is the MMA All Stars. And anyone watching back home? on the RXF YouTube channel or the www.rxflive.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before some fight, I would like to present the blue corner. He just went to weigh 62 kilograms, height 1.7 meters, reach 1.72 meters, and it was a record of six fights, one win, and five losses. He is fighting for a boxing club, Kishino, from Moldova! Let's give it up for Grasso Milian! The Kishino fighter. Bravely now, comes to take this test. The red corner. He just weighs 66 kilograms. Height 1.7 meters. Reach 1.72 meters. Heaven puts a record of 19 pride, 13 wins, and 6 losses. Specialized in MMA grappling and free fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cruz Romania, let's give it up for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a featherweight bout under 66 kilograms per round, five minutes each. Referee in the ring, Yamato Zahania. Judge, judge, judge. A very brave fight what? taken for the man from Cesano, Moldova, 22 years old from the Thai Boxing Club. A superior fight record from Cipriana Marish. But we've already seen tonight that that does not make gospel. And these two guys set the stage now. The RXF. Closing him down all the time, Marish not giving him any breathing space. And wants to take the centre of that cage. Low kick as he tries to get that single leg. And at the moment, he just needs to settle the Moldovan fighter here. Wild with that kick as he ducks under, but a good hook from the Moldovan. He needs to follow that up. Now, goes for a takedown and takes his back very early. Very early. He's going to let him get his hands around there as well. And the guillotine was on straight away. He didn't look comfortable in the beginning of that fight for me. Lillian Grosso. And I'm afraid it's an easy day in the office. As Chilipan Marij. Just puts his attire on like he's 
just taken it off. And gave up his back far too easier. The man from Cisano in Moldova. Here he is, easily gives up his back and covers his head. And then just a simple transition into that guillotine. And this one, almost a walk in the park for the man from Cluj, Romania. All right, on, ladies and gentlemen. Challenger in category 61, as I can draw me to the promoter. Ladies and gentlemen, Cyprian Mari. So the end of that fight, the announcement from the fighter. Carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă, proaspăt scoasă din cuptor, fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un dinner premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun. Dabo Döner este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la 3 dönere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu. Carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă.
the entrance of Miralem Akmeti from Serbia, aged at 23 years old. Brings a record of three wins, five losses, and trained by Alexander Alexic. As a background in mixed martial arts. Arkmeti means business here in Bucharest. The more experienced fighter out of the two here tonight. His opponent with two wins under his belt. Don't forget, with losses as well, it's every lesson that learned. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call this one into the red corner. He's coming from Bucharest, Romania. Please welcome to Elton! Another entrance of Archen Breda. Fighting his hometown of Bucharest at the age of 43. 20 years older than his opponent. He has a sporting background in Kempo, mixed martial arts and wrestling and represents the Breeder Fight Academy. He's coached by Breeder Eugen. Big fight for this man tonight. Highly anticipated entrance to this man, a legend here in Bucharest, heavily supported. A fight that lots of people are telling me on the way in here. They were really looking forward to. Lots of people wanted to see him fight. Response from the crowd for Urjan Preda here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a light heavyweight bout under 90 
four kilogram per round of five minute lead. Your referee in the ring, Yamato Zahali. And a drum roll for the crowd for there. Very, very popular fighter here. And Erjan Preda starts this bout. A lot to prove against Miralem Akhmeti, who's the experienced fighter of the two here. The Serbian travels into the lion's den, really. Wants to exchange boxing skills early, and that lead kick comes up high from Preda. Straight away goes to floor. And Preda lands on top in the control position, but held down at the moment. He'll be out of free down if he leans on that arm. Oh, he's trying to lock that arm early in this bout, and he's tapped out already. He got that lock on early on the left arm. And once his arms triangled on there, it was over before it started. And Tap or snap is what they say in the UK. And before that fight got started, it's an early explosive win for Urjan Preda here. And the crowd got what they wanted over there. A huge support for this man. But Miralem Akmeti will know that's a long journey to be submitted like that. Once he saw that arm, he was intent on getting his prize. And once he had that wrist, that triangle grip was on and the end of the Serbian here at RXF. Well, family, friends, associates, you know me, it's the biggest corner team I've seen here tonight at RXF. But the family atmosphere of these guys, so happy with the win of their 43 year old compatriot. Well, I know what it's like to be 43, my friend. But I will warn you, it does not get any easier. As soon as he saw that hand, that's mine. And with one fight to go here at RXF, we draw to the end of the show.
say girls love money, and that's not entirely true. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We just reached the main event of this evening, Erisek 37. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a title fight, and because this is a title fight, Let's first introduce the Eric Saf title belt. Let's give it up, Mr. DJ Music. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you the Eric Self, the belt, the one and only. For those, for the one who's gonna win this title tonight, and we already know who's got it. Let's give it up, Mr. DJ. That's right. Domnilor și domnilor, în atenția voastră, centura Eric Self care se va pune la bătaie în această seară. Nu uitați main eventul de acum între Varzat Gaderi from Iran și Ion Surdu din România se întâmplă acum, right now, la Eric Sef 37. Fă zoom aici. All right! Thank you very much, you're sexy. It's time for the show, everybody! First, let's close this door. Domnilor și domnilor, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. And now, I would like to introduce the blue corner. It's coming from Iran. Everybody, make some noise for Varza! Gaderi. The entrance of the Iranian here, Farzad Gadari. Steps into the hometown as of his opponent for the main event of this evening. And a is on the line. The welterweight fighter is 34 years old and brings a record of 18 wins and eight losses. Represents the Red Dragon Gym from Masoud Jafari is coaching him tonight. And he faces an unbeaten fighter here tonight. But the over Overwhelming experience of Farzad Jakari from Iran is the real test of the show. Well, well ladies and gentlemen, it seems like, like uh, the, the song was, was a little, little bit too short, short. but, but Mr. DJ, we can loop it. But, but if you can, can not, still, I, I got, got to be in my voice. voice. Farzad Gadali could upset the party Ladies here tonight. Let me remind you about that because I feel like 
But let's introduce the red corner. It's coming from Plus Napoca Romania. Everybody, bring the noise for The entrance of Ian Serdu for this title fight. The less experience of the two fighters, actually. But from the city of Cluj, Napoca, in here, Romania, 24 years old. He trains in MMA and football and represents Team MMA Transylvania. And really, really soaking up his moment here and atmosphere. It could be a long walk to the cage or it could be a short walk, it's up to you. And it's not about the distance, I assure you that. And Ion Serdu is soaking up the moment. Eight wins, no losses, is undefeated. He's trained by Brian Tudor and Sebastian Haydu. But this is a very, very uh, stiff test for Serdu tonight. He faces the man from Nur Iran. Tense atmosphere in here as the crowd awaits in Eon Serdu. Well, the stage is set here for the main event of the evening here at RXF 37. And it has been a pleasure. Myself, Danny Kendrick, in the commentary box. And it's all moulds down to this. In at a national bout, it's Iran and Romania head to head. Farzad Gadiri and Ion Serdu. Gadiri 
Wild with the low kick. Just a little bit out of range at the moment. Serdu just closing his man down. Undefeated fighter, but this guy is experienced. High kick on the lead leg. Early warning signs for the home fighter. Good balance though, as he goes for the single leg and strikes. Very good balance from Serdu. Gaderi trying to throw bombs when he's in close. Stamps that lead leg again, tries to break the transportation down. Offside who scores, good body kick and gets taken down when he's caught. Where's that? Kick to the top of the knee in response to earlier. Good exchanges here, powerful shots going in. Serdu again trying to close the Iranian down and try and assert some authority. The crowd shouts, Serdu, Serdu. But Kaderi isn't rocked so far, too good. Punches, and the knee goes up high to the head as well. Serdu's opening up for the crowd here. Marching through and just taking the centre of the ring with his opponent. They've hardly come out that black signage in the centre of the ring. Both fighters here and don't forget there is a title on the line. Checks the low kick, just misses with that leg kick. If he had committed that kick, he'd have caught the head there. He pushes his hip through those kicks. There's the hand, again. Good punches, the knee goes up to the chin as well. Gaderi is just a tidy bit out of range at the minute. I don't think that's going to last as this fight goes on. And the range is perfect at the moment from Ion Serdu. Oh, a high kick goes high and he off balances him with the kick of his own. But the guard is questionable of the Iranian with those high kicks. He doesn't lean out the way, he doesn't move his head, he doesn't block. And the writing's on the wall for Serdu here if he's learned. Stiff jabs from Kadari as he works his way into this fight. Two accomplished fighters here. And there's a really well-timed kick. I'm not sure about that. He's saying he went to the midsection. I didn't see that clearly enough. I, I'm not so sure about that one. There's a stamp on the leg again. But it's not going to stop Serdu coming forward. Not for long anyway. Again, out of range of that low kick, not driving his hip through. And it just lets Serdu close in with those hands. Both burying low kicks there. Tick for tack. Serdu approaches well with his hands. Wants to trade. Both fighters want to trade, in fact. But they need to close that range a little. Serdu goes for the big shot over the top. Again catches him. The gum shield comes out. And the referee will stop them and let them fight on. That was punched out there. Gaderi lies down, Serdu says, get up, let's trade, and walks away for me after a very good first round for the Romanian.
Look, just went for that single leg takedown, but the balance and control was very, very impressive from Serdu. There's that low kick. He's not committing those shots. And I'll tell you what, he's getting caught with that backhand when he throws that punch very often in this fight. And there's no defense at all against the punches. Surely if you're in that corner of Ian Serdu, you must be thinking to say to him, utilize those hands and move forward. Because he's cracking under pressure. And I need another replay from that as well. The knee was up dangerously high up parts of that round as well. Serdu shouting, come on, ready for action. This is one entertaining character we've got here. First time I've commentated on Iron Serdu. And it's been a pleasure so far. Farzad Ghadari has made a very, very good fight of this so far. And he's a more experienced competitor of the two, remember. 18 wins and eight losses. This Iranian has had a lot of fights and he's very experienced. And now starts to trade. Good left hook. Both fighters love to stamp on top of the knee. Tries to show a semi-axe kick, but that's not, not going to keep. Gadari away for long. Good lateral movement. Moves his way to the right, which opens up new possibilities for Serdu. Serdu working that lead kick again. Just out of range again. He moves very well. He's very evasive with his head. Serdu shouts the crowd. And there's the knee to the midsection. Oh, and the brief. You can tell from the breath of the Iranian that that hurt. He'll stand and trade. He's a tough, tough warrior brand fighter, this guy. And here comes Serdu. Every shot, he wants that knockout for his home crowd. Not bad for a Monday night in Romania. Inside low kick, outside low kick, and drops Gaderi to the floor. Gaderi looks a little bit out of ideas, and he's second to the trade in there. Two good punches and the knee goes high. But still in there with a fighter's chance is Kaderi. Halfway through the second round. Kaderi stamps out of range and misses and looks uncomfortable now. Tries to double up his punches, but Gaderi is second to me on the boxing. The harder puncher of the two with the skills is definitely Ion Serdu at the moment. Both fighters want to stand this up. Constantly attacking the lead leg. Serdu doesn't let you settle. And he wants that knee to the head as well. There's a good left hook. Vice of position. Does he really want it, Serdu? I'm not so sure. I think Serdu wants to stand his fighter up. Listen, the commentator's scorecard counts for nothing in this game, but I've got Serdu so far ahead so far. And a huge right hand over the top. And there's the left elbow. Holds on to the right hand of Serdu there.
Just stop him getting that leverage he wants to initiate. Ground and pound from the side control he has here. Stays down on the floor again. It doesn't look like a good plan. He's getting dished out punishment down there. And I think he's hurt. There goes the punishment from the side control. If he doesn't try and escape this, the referee will for him. And that is what he's done. Eon Sardou takes the accolades and the title here tonight on the main event. Ran out of steam, the Iranian. Took a lot of shots during that fight. But Ian Serdu is very, very impressive for me. And it's nine wins out of nine for the Romanian. Watch out for this man here. As that side control was taken there and the ground and pound began with elbows and punches. Once that hammer fist was raining down, the referee, it was a matter of time. I don't think he had anything left to escape, to be fair to him, the Iranian. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner will be rewarded. Sebastian Hill, promoter of Eric Seth. But first, let's make it official. Well, Iran and Romania head to head here. We got a superstar always being waited for. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by ground and pound in the second round. And the title winner, the champion, let's give it up for Yon Well, the name. Eon Serdu, he must be from uh, from Moldova. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure here tonight. The champion will now speak, and I'm signing out. To have this victory, was it easy, was it hard? Tell us what you, what you went through in that fight. Tell us in English, in Romania, Russian, whatever. What's that about? I'm to I'm going to avem patru ani de muncă puternică în spatele nostru. Nu doar în sală, nu doar afară. Psihic, ne antrenăm psihic, permanent. Vă mulțumesc mult că ați venit. Cu toate că vreau să vină cât mai mulți, dar după această victorie, cu siguranță, o să se audă că nimeni nu vine să ne provoace la noi acasă, băi! Noi suntem acasă! Noi facem regulile. Vă mulțumesc și stați aproape. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, the champion, Ion Surdu. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance of tonight. Eric Sef, 37 MMA All-Star. That's what's up. And we got a champion, and this champion is back home with the belt. <laughs> Am I right, my brother? Yes. Say hi to the microphone. Hi, my. Yes. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just to make an announcement, but first, let's make a pick.
Just to let you know, we got an after party. Somebody tell me where the after party is because I'm interested. Mr. Boss, come on, give me. for night. Uh, don't forget, Eric Seth, 37. This is what we serve. See you next year. That was the last Eric Seth uh, for this year. Eric Seth, 37. Uh, see you next year. I don't know when, but for sure, we'll see each other. All right, uh, somebody is asking the microphone, and a champion is asking for it. Hey, hey, hey. Omik, Omik Anunt. I'm a pe Moldova, din România, există așa zisuri campion. Nu știu de ce vorbiți, îi se spune bestia Moldovei, cu toate că, sincer, n-am -am văzut nicio bestie. E un copil speriat și nu știe să facă nimic în afară de o plecăciune într-un genunchi în care le zice intrare. Bă. Hai să fim Eu vă promit că nu va, îl dezmembrez, îl bat așa cum vreau eu.
carne de pui 100%, chiflă caldă, proaspăt, scoasă din cuptor. Fără aditivi, fără conservanți, fără amelioratori. Toate într-un dăner premiat de trei ori în Germania ca fiind cel mai bun. Dabo Döner este un business născut la Sibiu și prezent în peste 40 de locuri din România și nu numai. Recomandat cu poftă de Horia Vârlan. Vino la oricare Dabo din Sibiu și la 3 dönere cumpărate primești cadou pe loc un bilet la ce film vrei tu.